Hello there guys, Feng here, and welcome back to Stellaris with our Shroom people, because why not, Shroomtopia, eh? Alright, Crystalline Entities, the name itself, a compromise between rival factions of Xenobiologists and Xenogeologists on Shroomtopia are most definitely alive. Bloody bloody bar. Alright, apparently they're unbreakable. So this not just surely be a great boon scientist, so this will actually give us a permanent 10% multiplier to um, to our research, our physics research. Really good one to take. Uh, the other choice we have is that it will actually give us the crystal sonar modifier to our empire which means we can spend 30 energy to instantly survey any crystalline entity system when entering. Decent but I am not passing up that extra modifier, that's huge. That's, now that's going to give us 30% extra altogether from our physics research. Obviously it's not a lot because we're only generating 5, but once we get more into mid-game that's going to make a huge difference. Alright, Void Clouds are as far as Shroom research can tell among the oldest entities in the universe. They seem to have originated just a few scant, few billion years, blah 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 blah. Okay, so we've got a choice of that not standing our way, which gives us um, which gives us some research, some physics research, and it will also give us the cloud buster modifier added, given the following effects: damage to void clouds, ten percent. So that's that's pretty that's pretty up there. Or we can add a list of likely void cloud systems to the situation log. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with that. More damage plus um, plus some extra research. That is. Handy dandy. And I think that's all of our situation log done at the moment. Ooh, we have encountered some form of alien vessels on the uh, Ezak system. These strange objects have been flagged as Epsilon Angel uh, aliens. I said angels then, that was weird. Uh, aliens, there we go. Let's have a look. So we can go ahead and research them. You know, I'm not going to research them just yet. I'm going to wait until we find come across another alien and then research them both at the same time. Um, yeah, we haven't gotten on store now. We've got plenty of physics research stored, though. All right, let's check our Shroomatopia. Where are we going? I'm going to keep that running for a bit. So we're still waiting on this to be built up. Yeah, the uh, the, the start of the game can seem pretty slow to start building up, but once you've once you've got access to the uh, minerals and the energy, then it will start to get a hell of a lot, a lot, of a lot better. But it does seem slow sometimes to start off with. So our, f uh, our military fleet has stopped. It's done what system was asked of it. Complete. Fantastic. And now the fungus system has been fully surveyed. Okay, okay then. So as you can see, we've actually got a few more mines we can construct there. I didn't even see those. So, I mean, you can do them from here. <coughs> oh, yeah, them down here. Didn't see those. So you can do it, you can do it from here, or if you're in the galaxy uh, map, you can actually do it from here as well. Although uh, it will actually combine both um, planets to the cost. So obviously we don't have enough. So I'm just going to go ahead and start off with the uh, minerals, since that's what we need the most. All right. So our science ship is now also doing nothing. So they're going to start surveying this system over here. And our fleet can just stay in orbit, I think. Uh, I, they're actually in there, so if we bring them back, they will actually cost less while they're in orbit. Alright, so Shroom Tab has finished its uh, surface construction queue. That's good. So I'm going to go ahead and sort that out. So you're now going to be mining minerals instead. It's going to slightly slow down our. Uh, yeah, not, it's not going to really slide down that much. No, big, no biggie. But yeah, I can see why they're not, they don't want to uh, pass that up. That's actually pretty huge. For site research. And that will be available to us soon as well once this pops fully grown. Okie dokie. Yeah, there's not really much else to do at the moment except for waiting to see what happens. Uh, we can have a look at the, some of these uh, planets. So, what you will eventually want to do is, once you've researched colonization, the uh, colonization uh, research, is you'll want to start looking for um, planets that you can inhabit. So, as you can see, this one is actually pretty good. Uh, we've got Tropical World. Our, our preference is Tropical. 
so that's perfect um, but it is quite close so I want to build I want to really have one a bit further away so as that we can capitalize on our found. influence area all right so we, pick, we found another anomaly now this one's gonna actually be a 30% failure risk I'm gonna go ahead and leave it be for now we can always come back to it later no big deal oh this particular paint has also got minerals and energy so that's great oh so that's one of the aliens indeed is that the, is that the gas one yes yeah, the gas grazers okie dokie okay our construction ships finished now and yep I'm gonna go ahead and get over here and start getting that other one as well we've got plenty of power still so I'm gonna go ahead and get that mining station and that will start putting us in the positive for minimal production which is something we desperately need uh, we're gonna have to start thinking about getting our military free fleet um, higher as well uh, we can build some more corvettes uh, we might have to do that now actually just build an extra corvette well, I think I'll leave it for the time being. We're not, we're not in any serious. Yeah, I think we should be alright for a bit. Still got 49 months before we can colonise anything. So, that's got a bit of a wait. Although, our solar panels are needed, done, survey which is complete. fantastic. Alright, system survey is done. Not too shabby. So, now the best thing to do is probably to survey some of these other worlds. Let's see. Uh, there's another tropical world there. That's continental world, desert, arctic, uh, tropical. So one of the other things I should um, talk about as well is how these stars align and whatnot. So you can only re you can only build stations, mining stations, stuff like that in your area of influence. So as you can see, we can actually build um, stuff on the goal uh, planet, which we already have. We've already started to make uh, a mining station there. But as you can see, these stars don't quite align properly. So if we was to um, move this, as you can see, so for example, Jungum, uh, the star is actually quite high compared to uh, Fungus, which is a bit lower. And Gol is even lower than that. It's right down the bottom. So the game's kind of like 2.5D in that regard. But one of the things that's a bit difficult to see is where where do my influence actually you know cover that particular star so do you see these hexagons here that shows you where the where that star actually corresponds to your influence so as you can see where we're, we're kind of near jungum but we're not there yet so until that i think it needs to cover over half or at least to the middle point then we could actually um get some stations there if there was any material uh, minerals there so I mean as you can see this one is actually pretty bad because there's not really any stars here whatsoever uh, oh, oh I did pick four spirals didn't I so this is actually going to be really interesting to see how this goes I've never played a map like this this is like it's a bit similar to ring because ring is very uh, enclosed but it's enclosed in one lane. This is basically enclosed in four lanes. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Uh, this might make expansion a tad bit difficult because of that. But we'll see. So I'm going to keep that going for a little bit. Our science ship will go ahead and survey the next Navy system. Because why not? May as well. And... Uh, let's check our planet and see if it's giving on. So, aha! So we've now got the five generators from them. That is huge. That's a lot. And why is it generating five for? That was four, wasn't it? Oh, it was four, but because we, we have got some uh, multipliers here. So we got... Uh, because we're fanatic materialists, we get 10% from that anyway. Because we're intelligent, we get 10% from that as well. Because our governor is good you get we get 10 percent as well and because they're happy it's uh, an increase in 10 percent overall which is fantastic and uh, the best thing about that is we could actually go ahead and build a science lab and that would increase even more 
So yeah, I think we'll go ahead and do that. That will actually increase all of our research, not, not just that. So that's cool. Ah, our first research has been done. Fantastic. So let's just quickly pause. Let's see what we've got here. So, now we've got solar panels, which is pretty useful. Um, we have a few ch we've actually got quite a lot of choice here. Wow, these three are nice. So, deflectors basically are shields. They will stop a set amount of damage coming through before um, any damage gets through to the hull of the ships. I haven't even talked about that yet, but we'll get to that once we uh, once we come across it. That's useful, but I'm not going to bother doing that just yet. We still need to focus on getting our, you know, our empire up and running. So this one probably might be a, a decent one. Gives you more energy storage. Uh, I didn't actually talk about that. So each, um, except for, no influence as well. So all these have got caps. So, caps aren't really that big of a deal. I have yet to actually reach any caps. But, if you need more caps, then these are the, these are the best ways to go about it, I guess. <laughs> there is actually some buildings that allow you to have extra cap as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, so, we got that. That's actually a really good one. That will not only produce a decent amount of uh, power, that will also give us uh, more energy credits overall on that particular planet. Pretty damn good. But it's a unique, so you can only build one of these. Uh, we've also got administrative AI, which will actually give us a 5% research speed overhaul, which is great. I think what I'm going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get the power up so we can get some of these power modules going. We're going to need some soon because, as you can see, um, we are nearly starting to run out. Alright, Habitable World Survey. So this is one of the random events you'll get. Uh, this is actually our first one, isn't it? Yeah, it's our first one. So you'll get these randomly, and this particular one will. Situation basically, this particular one we need to find. We need to survey worlds. Yep. Yeah. And uh, with this particular one, you need to survey eight worlds. And uh, when you actually complete the survey, you gain a bonus. I mean, I don't. I can't remember what the bonus is, and it doesn't tell you. But usually you do get a bonus for doing these, so they're usually worthwhile doing. This one's pretty easy to do. All we need to do is just keep surveying and we'll eventually get it. Right, now this one actually has minerals. It's a bit too far for us yet. Now, influence does increase over time. I'm not too sure what influence is that. I'm not too sure if it's the amount of pop you have or whatnot. But we should eventually get to that um we should be able to get influence eventually there anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. We can also build something called Frontier Outposts. Now, Frontier Outposts are kind of... Well, that's exactly what they are. They're out, out, outposts. So you can build them pretty much anywhere uh, on a planet that's been surveyed. And what you'll do is it will actually make uh, influence. So it'll, so it'll basically give you more influence on a particular area. Now the only problem with them is that they cost influence to actually build and they also have a upkeep of influence to sustain. So they're not they're not hundred percent. They're good, but early game it's it's not too useful. Not until you can start getting a bit more influence and whatnot. But the way things are going and the fact that we are just seem to be taking a bit of time and we don't seem to have much habili habitability on worlds that are a bit farther, and I really would have hoped there was, we might have to go ahead and build one. Soon as well. Uh, we've, there's really not that many tropical worlds that are far away. Oh my god, that's not good. I mean, another thing we could do, we can actually build wormhole generators, and I mean, you can build them, you don't have to even build them in New Influence, you can build them on any planet. So we could go over here, we could build a wormhole generator, and we could then um, we can then have coverage over here. That's the only one problem with wormhole generators, you can only really travel where your where your radius is. But it is quite fast and it can be efficient once you've got a few wormhole generators um, dotted around the place, so it's worthwhile doing. But I think for now we're just basically waiting on resources to acquire. And I think we'll go ahead and uh, build a mining station there, get that other power. 
And we've got 16 System minerals survey. coming in. Okay, so as you can see, this has been built now, so we can gain seven from that now. Bloody hell, that's brilliant. And we've got one of each from there as well. Fantastic. So our next one is going to be over here, and then we might want to think about possibly making... Yeah, we're only giving two surplus, so I'm going to go ahead and build an hydronics hydro farm. Okie dokie. And our science ship has actually finished as well. So I think I don't I don't really want to do it, but I think I might have to try and colonize one of these closer planets. Don't really want to do that, but it's not giving me much of a choice. I mean, we are we're jungle, aren't we? No, we're tropical. It is tropical, isn't it? Why did I think it was jungle? Well, it basically is jungle, but yeah, it's tropical. And there's there's nothing close by. There's nothing further away, I should say, that would be useful I suppose this one might be possibly and, and because because the influence starts off quite low when you colonize and then it gradually gets higher we would be in the boundaries of this one but it depends what this one actually has so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go ahead and put a, um, a bit of a queue up I'm gonna queue this one to be surveyed I'm gonna queue this one up to be surveyed and I'll queue this one to be surveyed and we'll continue research complete Okie dokie, so we've completed the research of geothermal fracking, fantastic. Let's see what other goodies we have. So we have access to the co the next level of coil gun. That would actually give us quite an, er an early advantage when it comes to military. Um, we could also go for mineral processing plant. That would actually be pretty decent because um, that's basically the... Op that's basically the the brother of the um, the power hub that we're doing so the obviously this one gives you 10% energy credits for planets and this one actually gives you 10% for minerals for the planet or we can start researching armor all this 5% is not a huge increase at the moment but it will be you know what I think I'm gonna leave that because I, I can go out that one anytime and we'll just go for the uh, minimal processing instead Get some more of them minerals. Lovely, lovely minerals. Uh, I'm thinking about possibly making a second science ship. Okay, so they're fleeing, so that was kind of pointless. Oh my god, that's a lot. Jesus Christ, that's a lot. So they're gonna, yeah, they basically flew back because they have on passive. Um, Set to evasive, so if they do come across any of your stars, they'll try and walk back to home as soon as possible. Let's just go ahead and survey this one then for the time being, and maybe some more of these closer ones instead. I don't have the capacity to actually go ahead and do anything else yet. We need more military, really. So I think that's what we might focus on next. Oh yeah, we need, we need a thingy one here as well. I missed that one. Oh, actually, what we could do is we could get some more research going. Uh, is it worth doing yet? Possibly. Mm. Yes. Because once that's built anyway, that's going to give us quite a huge uh, increase in food. So obviously that one is not going to matter much. So I may as well get the one that's got two and and he's about to get a lab on. So yeah, may as well grab that. Um, we might want to consider actually get rid of some of these blockers. That one would be nice to get rid of. So we'll clear that one. That's done. Okay, okay. So we've got plenty of power now. Great. More influence. Uh, I think I might actually possibly might want to spend some influence trying to get more minerals out of this uh, planet. Uh, Spirit of Science. Land of Opportunity. Oh, we don't have it. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, it's, an, it, it's a research edict, isn't it? Fuck. So we don't have that yet, which is unfortunate. Um, do, 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 do. I may want to go ahead and build a wormhole generator on one of these Research and check complete. these ones out. Ooh. Now, this this means 
that there are possibly um, AI, AI uh, Empire here. So that's going to be worthwhile checking out. Maybe that's the one that, yeah, that's the one that uses that. Okay, now hang on a sec. Let's just see how far we are to... Oh, we've done it! Fantastic! I was just about to check that as well. Oh, a perfect timing. All right. Ooh, oh god, these are all nice. Every single one of these are nice. This one gives us more border range as well as uh, allow us to look at other employees' survey data. Um, this one gives us um, less army upkeep, which is going to be useful a bit later on. Not not quite yet. And it also allows us to build the milita military academy. Um, we've got an, the next, next tier of farms as well as the farming edicts which would be really cool and then we've got the frontier clinic which is kind of the same thing as the other uh, planet uniques but this one actually uh, increases habitability uh, that's not as useful to have just yet because we've already got 100 percent habitability i think you can actually get more and that might increase the happiness but it's not important yet so i might go ahead and uh, do we grab the extra farms or do we grab the border range? I think border range might actually be really good because it might allow us to actually creep up and get grab this. And if that's the case, then we've got seven minerals waiting there, and that's going to be a huge increase for us. So we'll leave as it is. The construction ship can't really do anything else. I'm going to go ahead and research this as well, actually, while we've got it, and that'll just that'll just uh, accumulate the stored. Yeah, that'll just keep stores. So that's fine. What I may want to do then with my first fleet is come over here and just see if there's any hostiles around there. Yeah, that seems to be the best start to do this on because we can actually cover that then. I don't know if they're if they have influence on this part. I hope they don't because that's going to make things a little bit problematic, and we might have to expand out this way instead. But hopefully that is not the case. So there's nothing there. Uh, how long has this got? This has got. I'm, I might just wait for this just to see what happens. System survey complete. Because if we are in the borders, they'll just kick us out. So yeah, we'll we'll go back. Uh, system survey complete. Fantastic. Uh, so you're gonna yeah, you're gonna start researching these ones. That has eight. Holy crap! It's really tempting to go and colonize one of these instead. Uh, this one's a 17. This one's actually a little bit bigger than our home planet, but as you can see, this has a lot of blockers, and they're not, and they're going to be quite difficult to get rid of. There's fucking four different blockers here. There's volcanoes, dense jungle, uh, noxious swamp, and dangerous wildlife. And because of the way colonization works, we wouldn't really get much benefit yet from that. So. While it's nice, it's probably not worthwhile doing just yet. Uh, not really much else. I mean, there's there's this one here, but this one's got the complete. enemies and that we can't really deal with just yet. Construction complete where? Oh, that's on the surface. Oh, brilliant. That's great. So everyone, yeah, everything's fine. Oh yeah, we unblocked that as well, didn't we? That's great. Special project complete. Hey, so communications. Okay, so our first contact with the combined Yaparfi states. We are the combined Yaparfi states, and minions of the wise overlord Falatar One. Our aim is to improve ourselves through the use of technology. And whether you agree with these goals or not, we trust you remain um, amicable neighbors so depending on what you what tra what traits you take you take and your ethics you'll actually get quite a few choices here so um i'm going to go ahead and pick the one that's got above so cooperation will surely benefit us all i'm going to try not to get into too much conflict unless it's absolutely essential so yeah the news that we've kept intangible alien life for the first time is spreading like wildfire through the shroom commonwealth blah blah blah, blah. yay First contact with the birds. 
All right. So, uh, and as I predicted, they have got influence over here. Wow, they have a lot. They seem to have a lot more influence than us to start off with. So that means these are basically off limits to us at the moment. We can still survey these ones and see what we can get from them. But for the time being, we can't really do much else. I should really start thinking about maybe making my fleet up so as we can take out those... We've got plenty of minerals and I can't really do anything else with them at the moment, so why not? So we're going to build three more corvettes. Uh, we've already got these three docked, so when these ones are finished construction, they'll join the fleet. And I think six will be enough for us to handle some of these. I hope they don't try and gank up on each on, on us though, that's any problem. Try and take them out one on one if we can. Oh, loads of leaders leveling up. Fantastic. Um, not much else going on at the moment, though. Hmm. Some nice minimal. I mean, the, 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 look at the, all these minimal. These are fantastic. This would be a fantastic start if these were in our bloody borders. But they're not. Bloody hell. <laughs> So we've either got to wait for our research to finish, or we've got to um, colonise or whatever. Yeah, we might, we might want to colonise soon. System survey complete. <laughs> Tundra, that's tropical. We've, uh, is that, that one's already been surveyed though, hasn't it? This, yeah, that was the one I wanted to survey. This is the one I actually wanted, but there's hostiles there. That's the only problem. Yeah, that one's gonna that one's gonna continue with that. That's fine. Let that continue with that for now. That was the oh yeah, that was an anomaly, wasn't there? Oh no, that's fine. Yeah, that's level two. I'm not actually sure if my. Let me have a look. What's the what's the chance of that? Twenty two. That's still quite a lot. So we'll leave it as it is. Okay, we've got five, and then we'll have six, and just with standard uh, Corvettes, we should be able to at least uh, do something about these over here, theoretically. Hopefully. Construction complete. Research complete. Bloody yeah, that was, uh, that was nice. So we got that construct. so all that has been done. Um, that's still growing, but once that's grown, we'll get a, a we'll get a huge food surplus, which is great. Um, do, 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 do. I'm just looking to see what else we could possibly get. I mean, we've got plenty. We still got plenty of materials. I'm gonna go ahead and start preparing for a power plant. Oh, actually, no, not the power plant. Let's wait for our let's wait for our research to finish. It's only got one more month anyway, so we'll have to research. This one's finished. Okay, so uh, improved spaceport would be very useful. It allows us to upgrade our spaceport to level two, and it will also give us the module to allow us to have um, Corvette assembly yards, which will decrease um, build cost and decrease build time. Uh, we've got nuclear missiles. Don't really. Uh, Ion thrusters actually be really good because they get, yeah they they give not only just a flat speed bonus but they also give us a chance to evade. Or we can just get the engineering facility, which will give us an increase in uh, tech. I'm going to go ahead and get the iron thruster because they're more useful. Uh, I'm not going to wait until they're finished. That's a bit pointless because it's going to take too long. So. <laughs> Uh, once this one's done, which it should be soon. Research complete. Okay, so now we've got that one. So we have a few choices here. Apparently, we should have four options, but apparently we've only got three now. Not sure why. Might be a bug. Um, so we've got. Hmm. We can either go a fusion reactor, uh, gravity sensors, which will increase our survey speed. That probably might be worth grabbing, actually, because our science ship is taking a while to. Um, survey stuff. You know, what? I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. Alrighty then. So now we've got the building. We can go ahead and build ourselves the power hub. So this is the one. This actually costs influence as well a little bit, but we're not using influence for anything anyway. So we may as well go ahead and do that. And while we're at it, I think I might even get rid of this um, thingy food tile, and we'll have the. 
a mineral processing plant there instead. But we can't do that yet because we're out of minerals. Of course we are. So I'm going to get my first fleet and we're going to uh, evade um, these. Invade, not evade, invade. So, uh, actually I'm going to Attempt to return to targets. No, we're going to go with uh, passive and we'll end combat if our story is close. Alright, and guys, I'm going to stick a cutting in and I'll see you next time.